grandmother holds her old rusty heart What makes it ache? Radio waves and blood on my chin and poison the skin I hope that when I get that old I won't regret one thing I've done Open up one shiny eye and see the brand new prize I won. But House of Seven Sisters is a, a more um, a thorough kind of song. So when it comes to opening, you know, you don't want to lull anybody to sleep. But if it works for the for a set, you know, it's always a good opener. And oil in my veins. I know one day I'm gonna fall, and I'm gonna fall hard. It was more of a 60s revivalist sound as opposed to a traditional, um, you know, authentic American kind of sounding thing. It was more, of a, it had more pop sensibility, I suppose. Spitzer Space Telescope, well, it's definitely an alter ego. It's not too far off. It's not too far altered from my person, my regular personality. But I mean, like being in the College of Fine Arts here, you know, that's a different. I put on a different filter when I go into that building. That's serious business because I pay fifty thousand dollars a year to be there. And uh, and the opposite of that is when I'm up on stage, uh, acting like an idiot, and people are laughing along with me. You know, those are two different sides of me, and I guess in between, the space in between is where they both kind of meld together a little bit. Um, and I try not to be fake. I don't like. I don't want Spitzer Space Telescope to be like another me or anything like that. I would hope that most of the time I am as respectful as Spitzer Space Telescope um, as I am as Dan McDonald. That's me. And I would hope that as Dan McDonald, I can be as honest and as uh, unapologetic, maybe, as I am on stage as a musician. Are there mistakes, or is it your fate? I know one day you're gonna fall, and you're gonna fall hard. There are bands out there that put on a really good show, and they have certain moves or whatever that just uh, they catch your attention. So over the years I've just collected as many of those little uh, mannerisms as I can to just put them all into one show and I, I that's something that probably a lot of people don't know is how uh, anxious I am not to let the crowd down because I, I know that most of the people that come to see me are poor students so when they pay seven dollars to see me at Middle East I want to give them you know, ten dollars worth or whatever, and that's usually the case. You know, so I'll scream until my voice is hoarse, even if I got a show like in the next day, because you know, seven dollars is a lot to some people for just entertainment, and a lot of people aren't entertaining in their concerts. So I, I just really wanted to uh, put on a show and make people laugh and make people uh, really leave with a sense of awe and wow and. Uh, hopefully, you know, inspire them to be more entertaining in their shows, if they're artists, you know? Well, being in the College of Fine Arts here, uh, I don't know how much that's um, affected my music. Making a painting or a drawing is really, for me, the same as making a song a lot of times, you know, you gotta, sometimes you gotta bust it out and, and nobody will ever see it, but it, it gets you to the next, the next project. And that's, it, it's, uh, it's cool to have those parallels between making images and making songs. There are the painting, the self-portrait I did, uh, cue up JPEG now. <laughs> the the self-portrait I did of myself in, um, in uh, the family kilt, the McDonald plaid uh, kilt, was uh, probably a pretty good indicator of, of my interests. It's in my blog now, um, and, I'm, and we'll pop up, we'll flash a nice little uh, link for you now. Now. Action. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, you can find that there. You can find a lot of my other stuff there, which, and it's, it's cool because you can see a lot of 
maybe some images that show up in the songs and maybe just some some styles or some moods that uh, d that uh, really um, obviously overlap between vi the visual stuff I'm making and the songs that I'm uh, writing. Yeah, good people. It's a it's a really it's something that I'm really proud to be a part of because it's based on integrity and it's based on generosity to to artists. And Greg still stands by that. The day that it, that I that I complain that I'm not making enough money at a show or the day I turn somebody down because of no draw or you know something petty like that, then I would hope somebody just comes and assassinates me or something because that's that's the day that SST's over. There's a song I wrote called New Rebellion, and that's a song that, that's probably the best song I've written yet because it's definitely the most concise, it's the most clear, uh, and it was the most, uh, it, it had the most passion of any song I've written yet, probably. Because, I don't know, it's probably after I saw this documentary Zeitgeist. Have you heard of this? It's a conspiracy theory movie. <laughs> oh, it's fucking cool though, man. I mean, it's probably all bullshit, but. It really was like, that, that's not the point, whether it was true or not. The point was um, about uh, questioning, you know, whether you're you know, just questioning things. And uh, I guess it made me do that before I realized, you know, conspiracy theorists are known for making these stretched, <laughs> for stretching these uh, linking evidence that's not really true. But yeah, that was the inspiration for it. And then the, the best voice I could find for that idea was the old Irish songs of rebellion because they've been doing that for years, man, against the, the English. And uh, there was a single line <coughs> in a song, or I'm sorry, in the Scorsese documentary, the Dylan No Direction Home documentary. There was a single line that Dylan said that probably inspired that whole song, which was, uh, he, was he used to listen to the Clancy Brothers and he said, uh, you know, they would sing ballads that would make you want to cry and then they'd turn around and sing songs that make you want to cut people's heads off. And as soon as I heard that, I said, I'm gonna, that, you know, that's what this song is. From roads awake and arise from the slumber of the spell you sleep and the dance around a slave on Bound. Drum your stone till the shackles roar, till the shackles roar. And see how blind, how deceived and betrayed we are, reveal our foes. All the time has come for to rise as one, and wage our finest rebellion. All the time has come. Rise up.